In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. I just saw a YouTube video about depictions of UFOs in ancient art, and a common theme in that video was that when UFOs appeared to people in ancient times, they would have assumed that it was from God, a messenger from God, because as the old assumption goes, people were religious and superstitious in those days, not like us clever 21st century human beings who are so smart and scientific. Well, let's just assume that if it were true, and the height of people's belief and understanding in those days was God. That is, God would be the highest, most powerful, most knowledgeable, most present standard in people's imaginations in those days, hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago. Well, the highest standard in our collective imagination right now is science. And when a UFO appears in the sky, people assume that it comes from an advanced race who are highly advanced in their science and technology that allows them to travel through space millions of light years away to our place. It is the same fallacy. We are ascribing to the unknown the highest standards in our imagination. Because the highest standard in our collective imagination at the moment is science and physics. So we ascribe and impute to these unknown beings the unknown flying objects in the sky, we impute science and technology to them, seeing that they are visitors from alien civilizations that are so far advanced compared to ours in science and technology that they can come millions, hundreds of millions of light years through space to us. In a culture that ascribed God as the highest possible thing that you can imagine, if a spaceship were to appear, they'd say, oh, it's the chariot of God, it's an angel, it's a messenger of God. In a culture that ascribes to science the highest that we can imagine, the highest that we can think, if an angel were to appear floating in the sky, people would say, oh, it's a highly advanced technology that allows this being from a more evolved culture and civilization to be able to transcend the laws of gravity of time and space because of this great technology of his or hers, or it, or whatever, we have no idea. We just assume that it is a highly advanced science and technology, because the highest we can imagine in our mind today is science and technology. So it is the same superstition, the same religion. When you see a UFO in the sky, you have no idea what it is. But when you assume that it is an object of superior technology, superior science, that's simply because the highest thing you can imagine in your mind is science and technology. That being said, a UFO in the sky probably is a product of some superior technology. But I just can't let it 
I just can't allow it to, to be let go. That people would assume that just because they assume something is scientific, that they are somehow more advanced than people of thousands of years ago. The same human tendency for belief, for ascribing to the unknown, our highest hopes and our highest fears still is there in the human heart. As primitive as it was since the beginning of mankind. We are creatures of unrationality. We are creatures of hope and belief. Those beliefs must be tested but they must first be acknowledged that they are beliefs and we cannot help but start with our hopes and beliefs just as you cannot help it if your meniscus tendon is hit your leg will kick it's not a matter of the mind it's reflex it's the way we are made the knee jerks the mind believes.